Hey, this is Russ. You know, I took a seven-day trip to Alaska, but we hit uh, Seattle first. You get there a day before the ship leaves. And we went to Pike Place Market. Yeah, a lot of things to see there. <laughs> yeah, if you're into fish, you can get a lot of fish out there. So we went through the market, and uh, we also hit the Space Needle, too. The Space Needle is kind of iconic for Seattle, right? So uh, after we did that, we got on the ship, and we went... Um, on the Carnival Luminosa, but here's one thing I noticed about Seattle, a lot of scooters and a lot of e-bikes, unlike Chicago, we don't have that many, so anyway, we were on the Carnival uh, Luminosa, and Luminosa is not a new ship, it's an older ship, it's actually from uh, Italy, yeah, they uh, took over uh, the ship from another cruise line, but again, Carnival owns that cruise line, so they just kind of rebranded it for, for themselves. And so I'm going to show you a variety of different things on the ship. This is a, a view from outside, uh, from the back end of the ship. Now, they had a lot of activities, but I think they could have had a little bit more. It would have been a little bit better. But um, this is the inside of the Lido deck. Now, this is a indoor swimming pool, but that top uh, retracts. But since we're in Alaska, <laughs> we don't want to retract anything. We want to, we want to kind of keep it closed and make sure that we're uh, not too cold, right? So uh, here's, uh, here's some views um, as we were getting ready to leave. Uh, they, they did a lot of activities though. Um, here's some people doing the, uh, the electric slide, it looks like. <laughs> now I was on my mobility scooter the entire time. I took my mobility scooter with me on the trip and people always ask, how do you take a scooter with you on the airplane? Well, they have to take it. It's kind of like your wheelchair. So um, because it's your disability, they have to take it and they don't charge you anything extra. You just have to call the airlines in advance, tell them you're taking a scooter. The scooter should be uh, a sealed uh, dry cell uh, battery. You cannot take lithium ion batteries on board. And um, uh, mine happens to be uh, a, a travel scooter, so it comes apart. Fits in an Uber with no problem. Yeah, so we, we got larger Ubers because we have luggage and everything, but we got on there pretty well. This is uh, the outside deck here on the top. And it wasn't too cold yet because, you know, we're still in Seattle. And this is as we were getting ready to sail away. Uh, they may have had a sail away party, but I, I didn't attend it. I was just kind of scooting around up on the top here. And uh, I, I would say that the, the ship was interesting, um, but I think they could have had a little bit more activities to keep it more interesting. Uh, it's not like your big, big, huge ships that have, you know, a lot of activities for the kids. I think the only activities the kids could really do was um, uh, the uh, basketball, you had uh, foosball tables, a, cu a couple of ping pong tables, one pool table, <laughs> and uh, a huge chess uh, uh, set, you know, large size, and that was about it, yeah, so the kids didn't really have a whole lot to do. Anyway, uh, there is a running deck on the top. Uh, it's a kind of a small running deck. You'd be running in circles for a while, <laughs> but you can do it. So here we are, we're getting ready to leave um, Seattle, and this is the, the view that we see as we go. Now, as we left, the, the water was a little choppy, but uh, we don't really feel it that bad. The, the ship is large enough that it doesn't uh, really affect it much. Uh, but you know, if, you, if you're prone to seasickness, it doesn't hurt to have one of those patches that kind of help uh, with seasickness. Here's one of the activities that they did on the Lido deck. The Lido deck is deck nine. They're doing axe throwing. <laughs> well, this is not real axes. This is, this is Velcro, but uh, this gentleman did pretty good. Yeah, as you can see, he came very close to hitting that bullseye. Our first, um, uh, after the sea day that we were at, the first port of call was actually out in Juneau. And Juneau is the capital of Alaska, as you know. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of things like totem poles and <laughs> a lot of, uh, 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 native um, Alaskan uh, things out there. But what I noticed uh, mostly at most of these ports of calls were uh, people trying to sign you up for uh, excursions if you didn't have an excursion. I did two excursions. Um, and um, yeah, you can sign out out there. You can sign up on the ship. Uh, the one thing that's good, if you do sign up on the ship and you get back late, the ship will not leave without you. If you sign up outside of the ship, and you get back late, uh, yeah, you might be one of those port runners where you're running down the pier, right? <laughs> Trying to catch the ship because you don't want to do that. So anyway, um, we, we were looking at the different places. There's, there's this, uh, this Tracy's King Crab Shack, and uh, we took a look at their prices on things. I think King Crab was running for around $80 a pound. Yeah, a little hefty, a little more than I could afford to do. <laughs> 
so again i was taking my mobility scooter around and and um uh, yeah it was it was pretty easy for me now those who are walking it yeah it takes a little bit more effort um, on, on a daily basis if you're going out for excursions you're walking all over the place uh, but yeah i didn't expend a whole lot of uh, energy uh, being on the scooter <laughs> so there is one benefit for that but it is kind of a hassle but i will say this that was interesting uh you know the getting up the gangway and coming down the gangway uh it's kind of a deep steep uh, incline but I was surprised my scooter made it up there with no problem and made it down with no problem either same thing in Seattle you know going to that uh, uh, Pike uh, place market that, that was it was a big uh, incline to get down there and, but yeah the scooter made it quite uh, quite surprising so um, the weather was pretty nice uh, we did not need our jackets although we took took our jackets with us didn't need it here later on we would <laughs> but we kept saying yeah, you know, they keep telling us to bring the jacket, but man, it's it's pretty warm. We don't really need it. I just slung it uh, on the back of my uh, scooter chair, so I didn't have a problem, but everyone else had to carry everything. So, yeah, the, there's a lot of shops, but we noticed there's a lot of um, a lot of jewelry shops around here. So here I am going down the hallway and um, of the ship. Uh, I stayed on the fifth uh, deck. And uh, most of the activities that you'll find happened on 9 and 10, yeah. And if you want to go up on, on top, it would be deck 11. But uh, we spent a lot of time on 9. Uh, I will say this, on the elevators, I didn't have any problems getting on or off the elevators. Uh, there was no long lines they have to wait. And uh, I've, I've taken uh, this Alaskan trip before on Princess. And I remember uh, sometimes you had to wait a long time just to get an elevator because so many people were crammed in there. But this is a slightly smaller ship. I think we had a little over 2,000 something passengers on this ship. Some mega ships could be like 5,000 plus passengers. So you could imagine you know, how difficult it might be to get a, an elevator after a show. But yeah, we didn't have any problem at all. I was able to get on and get off pretty easily. So uh, this is the Lido deck again. I'm gonna just kind of ride through the, the um, uh, the deck nine uh, we spent most of our time on deck nine because this is where most of the activities happened and uh, this area here is uh, the uh, taco and burrito area i had a breakfast burrito every single day <laughs> i did <laughs> yeah that was pretty good too yeah so uh yeah you get um uh, scrambled eggs and hash browns and some sausage on there put some guacamole on it you know some, um, uh, I think they had a jalapeno um, uh, flour tortilla on there. Oh, we're coming up here. This is where the pizza guy is. The pizza and the deli area where you can get sandwiches. Uh, the pizza guy spent a lot of time. I mean, they're, they're open until, what was it, like 2 or 3 in the morning? <laughs> Something like that. So uh, they have different shifts. But, um, yeah, he, he did a, a good job. And there's a variety of different guys put, putting pizzas together. But... Uh, everything had a different station so this was the first meal that I had on the ship uh, when we got on there it was uh, just comfort foods they, they called it you know you pulled pork and potato salad that type of thing so uh, different stations I don't remember which ones were exactly this they had a an Asian station I don't know what they called did they call that chopstick I don't, I don't know what they called it um, and then uh, off to the right there that's where you get your drinks now if you don't buy a drink package um, all you get is basically lemonade, uh, iced tea, and water. <laughs> okay, they did, during breakfast time, they did have um, one other type of uh, orange type drink with, uh, I don't remember what it was, uh, eh, whatever. But it was, that was pretty good. I made sure I got that during, uh, during breakfast time. But um, back here is called the Serenity um, area. This is an adults only area. So over 18, but uh, we did notice kids were still going in here anyway. Nobody said anything, nobody kicked anybody out. I mean, if the kids weren't making lots of trouble, um, you know, they, they allowed them to be in the, the hot tub or, or whatever. But yeah, it's basically designed for, for the adults. Now, not a lot of people knew this was here or something because that, it was always kind of empty. So you could, I mean, not totally empty, but you know, a lot less people out here. So you can spend a lot of time out here if you wanted to. I did get a little suntanned as I was out here. I, did, I didn't spend a lot of time out there, but uh, the, the small amount of time I was there, yeah, I noticed I am a little darker now. So uh, if you swing back around the other way, you go right back into the buffet. <laughs> Everything's into the buffet. I mean, uh, that's where everything happens. Uh, they do have um, uh, restaurants, uh, specialty restaurants, but there's also the main dining room 
and uh, we spend a lot of time at the main dining room for dinner. Okay, you can do that for breakfast and lunch too, but you know, even dinners took like an hour and a half to get everything through. So, you, a lot of times you can get the same exact foods uh, here on the buffet line um, if you um, you simply just uh, you know go through here instead. Nobody serves you. You just get what you need to get and then eat it. You can get get out of there quickly. So uh, let's go through this area. This is where they had sandwiches. Uh, they heat it up for you. And again, the pizza guy. Let me show you the pizza guy, okay? <laughs> Here he is, he's making uh, pizzas. They usually do like three or four pizzas at the same time. He just stacks one dough on top of the other and stretches it all out. Uh, my sister really liked it. I went with my sister's family as well. And uh, she, she got a pizza every day. I got a pizza every day too. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot to do other than eat. And a lot of times people will go here and, you know, they'll gain 10 pounds. Uh, I think my nephew said that he, he gained 10 pounds uh, on the trip. Um, he's uh, what is he? he's going to be a sophomore in high school. So, so, but yeah, but he was like eating every two hours. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, uh, I, I had my fair share of things, but uh, I only gained three pounds only. <laughs> that was the uh, hamburger place. They don't have Guy's hamburgers here. The Guy's, uh, Guy Fiori, was, how does he pronounce his name? Guy Fiori, is that how he pronounced his name? I don't know. Anyways, um, they didn't have it branded as Guy's, but it is a hamburger, hamburger and fries area. They had a large screen TV. You can watch movies at night that they played uh, nightly. They played a movie, and so you can just lay out on, on uh, the Lido deck and just watch a movie if you like. So let's, let's get off of the, uh, the deck nine and we'll head up to uh, different areas. And um, like I said, the, the getting on the, the uh, elevators was easy. Now this is deck three, I believe, uh, the Ocean Plaza. They had the band played here. Um, the band was actually really good, yeah. They actually did uh, one of the shows too where they played rock music uh, during the show. And uh, I'll have some photos for you a little bit later. As you go through here, this is the casino. Uh, at first I thought the casino didn't have smoking because I couldn't smell any smoke, but I was wrong. <laughs> Russ is never wrong, I told you guys that. <laughs> I was mistaken. And uh, yeah, when they were out far enough where they could actually uh, turn on the casino functions, uh, yeah, smoking was happening all over the place. This, I, I held my breath as I took the scooter through, okay? Now you might notice that there's nobody here, and the reason is because I did this uh, on the day that we went to uh, to, to Juno, I, I did the the um, I didn't have an excursion. I just uh, or, or, or you know any of the activities that people do. So I just kind of scootered around Juno, and then I went right back to the ship. And the reason is because I knew that nobody would be on the ship. <laughs> As you can see, there's like literally nobody around. I could do my my overview of the ship really easily if I just took the scooter. I did this before. I did this when I went to. Um, to Mexico, um, we did a, a trip out to Ensenada and uh, also Catalina Island off of uh, uh, California. So that was a three-day trip. That was also a carnival trip. I've also been on the Princess uh, Alaska trip, so the exact same trip here, but on Princess Cruises, which is also owned by Carnival. Okay, so uh, here's the iconic. Uh, I don't know. It has a name. It's a big. Um, big woman uh, <laughs> laying down so uh, yeah kind of strange um, interestingly though um, in our cabin the artwork that was on the walls we had a interior room I, I spent uh, the time with my nephew in that room uh, we had no um, no windows or or anything in there on both walls were uh, half uh, half dressed uh, girls <laughs> I don't know how they get away with this I mean if you <laughs> Maybe in Europe is a little bit different, but uh, yeah, they were, they were kind of scantily clad, let's say. So I, I said, wow, you know, if you have kids in here. Okay, the Vela restaurant that we just passed right there is where we had our dinners. But yeah, they, the artwork is definitely different. The, the whole design of the ship is a little different than the other ships I've been on. And um, although it, it is an older ship, it was kept up very well. And uh, I'm sure it's a, it's a good ship for Alaska because it has that enclosed uh, uh, swimming pool area up on the, uh, the, the Lido deck on the ninth, ninth floor. So um, it's perfect for Alaskan cruises, I think. But I think they need a little bit more activities to go on. So yeah, I, I took the scooter, I rode through it all. I wanted to show you all parts of the, of the ship. This is faster than most of the people who show you 
um, this particular cruise ship because they have to walk it. But as you can see me on the reflection here, I'm on the scooter. <laughs> I can move really quickly. So I'm trying to make a decision which way I should go. And uh, we are on the, oh, this is the third floor. We were on the second floor, sorry. The third floor, all right, is where they have the, um, the uh, Pixels photo gallery. You can, you can buy all the photos that, that, you know, they take photos of you. And, and then all the, the, um, the, the shops are here, too. You go down here, you can see that there's different shops that you get in there. You can buy whatever you want to get. But, you know, this is, this is just a, essentially, um, I don't know, souvenirs that you can get on ship. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't buy anything. The only thing I bought, let me tell you, the only thing I bought on this on this cruise is uh, I bought a, a nail clipper <laughs> when I was in, in uh, where was I? I think I was in Skagway or somewhere. I bought a nail clipper because I needed to cut my nails and and um, yeah, kind of kind of had something that was going on. So I, I I cut it all off. So I yeah, I just stayed outside in 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 the uh, in the streets and cut my nails off. So I I kind of said, wait, you know, I I kind of left some DNA in in Alaska. <laughs> So uh, yeah, this this is also where you have the Luminosa uh, Theater, and this is where they have uh, the shows and and any events that uh, you know can hold a lot more people. And the the theater was actually very nice. Um, those theaters are always usually very big, so um, good seating and um, good views on on the shows. Uh, they have coffee bars out here, so if you, if you you know, if you drink coffee, I didn't drink coffee either. So really, I had my fair share of lemonade. If I don't have any lemonade for a while, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is this is where they have jewelry. Uh, some of the guys that earlier you saw that were kind of, hey, do you want to buy a watch? <laughs> and no, <laughs> I use my cell phone. Speaking of cell phone, um, we didn't really have a lot of coverage unless you bought the uh, the Wi-Fi package, which I did not do. So once we were out of the the, um, the various ports, uh, we did not get any type of coverage. I have Verizon for my cell phone carrier, so I had unlimited text and 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 uh, uh, phone calls once we were in port. But when we're at sea, uh, if you try to use the the um, the internet or anything like that, or try to get the email, um, then you're going to be paying extra for that. So I didn't do that. I didn't want to pay for roaming charges, so I just didn't do it. So uh, the carnival store has uh, the the typical things like you know clothing and they have promos. You can buy T-shirts for like uh, two for twenty-five dollars. You can buy sweatshirts, whatever. I didn't buy anything. <laughs> Russ is right, but I told you Russ is cheap too. <laughs> yeah, I only bought a, a nail clipper. That's the only thing I, I bought. So anyway, uh, I was still happy to be on ship. I I like doing cruises. I like going on the ships. As you know, I like going on water and you know fishing and like and. So, um, yeah, it, it's a fun time. Either way, you know, even if you don't uh, do uh, some of the other things, you, you still have fun on the ship. So um, these are some of the things that I had for, for uh, the main dining room. You know, they had um, spring rolls, and I, I don't know what everything here was. Some, what was this, spaghetti with, uh, I think this was with, uh, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Cheesecake, <laughs> some more spring rolls. Um, yeah, you can you can look at it. I don't I don't know what this stuff is. Sweet and sour something or others. <laughs> yeah, I mean they have different names for everything. This is some type of tapioca pudding thing. Um, yeah, so I, I tried a little of everything. You know, I, I tried to get stuff that that seemed a little bit different. And um, I, I would say that the food on Princess was better. <laughs> we we all kind of said that things could have been a little bit better, but you know it, it it's included, so uh, I'm I'm fine with that. You know, so. Yeah, some cheese and yeah, whatever. So where are we now? I think we're at, we're I think we're at Skagway at this point. It was our, our next port of call, and um, this is uh, up on top, so we can we can see what it looked like um, before going into into there. You, you see that they have like this uh, uh, what is that thing going up the <laughs> up by the mountain? Yeah, my, my sister's family did that. I didn't do it. I didn't. I didn't do uh, an excursion here. I just kind of went into the, the town by myself. And uh, yeah, so. Again, this is outside. Um, it, it's easier to see outside if you just get up on the eleventh deck, because uh, this is where they have running and 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 things like that. But yeah, I'm not running. <laughs> I'm just scootering. 
you can you can see the path that they have there here is it's outlined in yellow for you you just kind of go around in circles but uh my brother-in-law he's a, he's a runner and he says wow that thing's really small i don't i don't think he did any running when he's here he he didn't do that at all but um yeah, whatever. You know, you're, you're on vacation. You can, you can take a break from that. He's very fit. So anyway, um, I didn't have a problem with the scooter going through any area. Uh, they, they, they have accessibility to pretty much everything. So, yeah, you can scoot up and down on the ship. I think most of the ships are kind of designed for you to do that. I mean, okay, there's some things. that The basketball court was there. Very small basketball court. So it's... <laughs> it's no, you're not playing full court, okay? If you're a quarter court, I'd be <laughs> quarter court, I'd be surprised. It was really small. So, all right. So, what else did we get to see? Um, I think I think um, most of this time that we were outside, we can do it without a jacket. Um, there, I think only when we went to the Tracy Arm Fjord, where we actually needed uh, a jacket, it was a little cold and chilly there. But here, yeah, not a problem. Not a problem at all. I, I liked scooting around the, the ship. Yeah, I, I go pretty fast. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of scooters on, on, the, on the ship, and I kind of watch the other people riding. I think some of them, just, you know, they just kind of rent it, so they don't really know how to ride it well. But, you know, I've, I've had a lot of experience on my scooter. I've, I've ridden the thing over 10 years. So, um, you know, I move really quick. Uh, I think it's like 4.5 miles per hour on my scooter. It backs up real quick too. There was a gentleman who who stopped me and he said to me, "I guess he had been watching me scooting around." He says, "You're a really good driver on this thing." <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I can move quickly, but you know, if I if I went slowly on here, it would take forever to get across the the ship, and it is a lot of walking. Yeah, if you want to do anything on the ship, you do walk a lot. We spent a lot of time just trying to find each other because we didn't pay for the the chat function. The chat function essentially means that you can um, you can talk to each other uh, via chat and keep in contact. I think it was like five dollars per person for the entire trip. I did I didn't do that. <laughs> None of us did it. I think we should have done it. I think it would have been worth it because then uh, we can keep track of where everybody was. You know, my uh, my nephew was on there. A friend of his was on there with him. Um, they've known each other since uh, preschool time. So. Yeah, she was there. He was there. She's one year older than him. He he's going to be a sophomore. She's going to be a junior in high school. I'm glad she came with her mom because that gave uh, gave him something to do. Right. These are just some shots at night. Um, uh, oh, whale watching. These are shots I did on my first trip to Alaska. I did not see any great shots of the whales, um, so I figured I'd throw a couple whale shots uh, that I shot uh, years ago. So, okay, so we're getting off here. Um, we are on a, um, a train now in Skagway. So uh, we took this train ride, which I thought was really good. Um, but uh, if you're gonna take this train ride in Skagway, uh, sit on the left side <laughs> because all the action happens on the left. I sat on the right. You know, when they come back, you see the same thing, but you know, the, the announcements and everything happen um, the first time you go through it, not when you come back. They, although they do tell you, okay, we're going back through that area, it's not as exciting as when you first see it when they first announce it, right? So I'm, I'm off on the right-hand side here. So all you see on the right side is, uh, is the mountains. <laughs> so, yeah, sit on the left if you get a chance. Sit on the left side of the train as it goes forward. I think that's a better, better choice. So, but really to get outside now, I'm, I'm standing between the trains now, so I'm outside. Uh, you want to get out to get some, some better shots, otherwise you're shooting everything through the window. But there was other people in the way, of course, too, so you can't really do that the entire time. Um, it wasn't cold. Uh, you, you feel some wind blowing on you, but it wasn't really that cold. And, and you go into Canada a little bit, too. So you do need to bring your passport with you when you do that. Now for me, I, um, I brought my passport and also my passport ID card, so I had both with me. You want to keep that with you, you don't want to lose that, right? So yeah, this, this train ride was good. I think um, uh, of the various things that are available, the train ride was real good. That tram ride that they went up the mountain, uh, they said it was pretty nice, but uh, yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> I, I only did two of them. 
So uh, this is Skagway, and I, I think overall I kind of liked Skagway. It, it was very p picturesque. Uh, we also got off and started uh, walking around the town as well. And um, you know, this is just some views of the the, uh, the towns now. Not a lot of people live in Alaska. Yeah, maybe a thousand people if you're lucky. But I did get to visit with Klondike Electric Bicycles. Yeah, they rent uh, electric bikes. I, I happened to notice them there. There I am uh, talking to the owner of the shop uh, on my scooter. I noticed that they had uh, rad power bikes, but they also had Hemiway. So we kind of discussed a little bit about the changes that happened within rad. And um, uh, she said that... Um, uh, they've been more successful with Hemiway because they weren't as demanding as Rad. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I, I wanted to give her a shout out. If you're ever out in this area and you want to try an e-bike out there, go to their shop and rent a bike from them. Uh, rates are reasonable and uh, the owner's very nice. So uh, I told her that uh, she should be watching the Russ's Right channel. <laughs> <laughs> and make a comment so I know that she was there. So, yeah. Hello to you. I, I appreciate uh, talking to you. Here's some of their bikes. And uh, she told me that, you know, they had uh, not only the Hemiway Cruiser, but they also had the, uh, the, uh, the Zebra. And I told her I had a Zebra as well. So, um, anyways, it was, it, was, uh, it was fun to be able to talk to somebody about e-bikes while I was on my trip. All right. So, these are some, um, some towel animals that they do. Uh, they put this out on the, the Lido deck on one day. So, I, you know, they, they do this on your uh, individual uh, rooms, too. They, they make one different animal every day, and they leave it on your bed. <laughs> but uh, they had a whole bunch of them here. So I said, oh, okay, I've got to take, uh, take some video of the various types of uh, towel animals they make. And you can see they do a really good job. <laughs> they put these little dots for eyes. And uh, you can tell, you know, what most of the animals are. I would say that the, the uh, room, room attendant that, that did ours, sometimes we looked at the animals and we said, what is that? <laughs> we couldn't really tell. But uh, the ones that were um, out here were really good. And uh, they, later on, they put even more than, than you see here. They put one on every single chair. <laughs> so, that, you know, these guys work really hard. Let me say this about the staff, okay? I really appreciate the staff on, on cruise ships. They work really hard. I mean, they're working all day long. They're away from their families. They don't get paid a whole lot. So, yeah, you know, if you, if you go on these, these trips and there's somebody that really stands out, when they send you that survey, put down the name of that person because it does help them move up in, in their, uh, their job. So if, if you find that they, um, they helped you, yeah, definitely do that. You do pay a gratuity in advance, but many people do give additional gratuities to some of the people that really help them out. So anyway, this is, this is the, uh, the theater, just kind of give you an idea. This is before we went um, out here on the Tracy Arm Fjord uh, trip. Now, we took another boat ride down here because uh, although the ship goes through the fjord, um, you don't get as close as we did here. Now, if you look here, this, this is one of the glaciers we we actually saw the two glaciers here we even saw the the glacier um, uh, have the ice falling it happened twice I, unfortunately I didn't get it on on video but um, I'm inside right now so I'm shooting through glass but I do go outside in a little bit and um, it, it was a little cold out here now I'm using my 360 degree camera the insta 360 uh, you could not bring selfie sticks on the ships so I'm just holding it by hand on a, a handheld uh, handle. So you'll see me do this. I, I felt like I was like the Statue of Liberty just holding this thing up. But I wanted to do it because uh, I knew that we were gonna go through this because I've done this trip before. And here I am right there, you can see me there holding it. Um, I wanted to do the 360 here on the fjord because the, the views totally around you is just something else. And a lot of people spend up on the top of the, of the, sh of the boat so you can get better views. We even had a chance to actually hold some glacier ice. Yeah, uh, my sister uh, took a photo of me uh, holding the glacier ice, but she never sent it to me. Uh, and, and so I wanted to get this video out so yeah, that photo is not here. But yeah, they scooped up some of the ice and then they let you hold it. So you're holding, um, I don't know how old a glacier is, but you're holding some really old ice. He even scooped up some and they gave it to the bartender and they chopped it up and they used it for drinks. <laughs> I don't know how safe that is, <laughs> old water, but uh, 
yeah the the glacier looks blue yeah it I, they gave some explanation i don't know exactly what it was but yeah the glaciers look blue so uh afterwards we got again we got a chance to get out and um i don't know where we are here are we in catch a can here i think our next port of call was uh catch a can <clears throat> You know, a lot of the, the shots that I took, uh, they start blending together. They kind of all kind of look the same. But like I said before, not a whole lot of people live in uh, Alaska. Um, you know, if you get 1,000 people, that's a lot. Oh, here's, here's a video that my, um, my nephew shot. You can see the salmon uh, swimming up, upstream, essentially. You know, salmon swim to where they were born, and then they spawn, and then they die. So, yeah, it was a whole bunch of salmon there. Uh, they even saw somebody catching a salmon. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see that part. But uh, yeah, we're we're in catch a can at this point. Now, again, uh, most of these shops are are similar and they're the same. But this area was kind of nice because it it had that that um, that stream going up up there too. So um, overall, I would say the trip uh, we had pretty decent weather. They said if we would have gone there a week earlier, it was like rainy all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Ketchikan actually is pretty rainy. Uh, I talked to one of the locals. He says, oh, we get rain every single day. He says, <laughs> if, we're, if we get five days a year without rain, that would be surprising. So yeah, they get rain every day, then it kind of stops, and then you know you, you go on with your day. So uh, but you know, some people said that they they were surprised, you know, how how it was raining and that it was going to ruin their day. But I says, no, I don't think so. I think that's gonna that's gonna clear up because I remember the last time I was out at Ketchikan, uh, it was the same thing. It rained in the morning and then it cleared up and then we, we were able to do our thing. Anyways, we ended up going through uh, Victoria, Canada. I did not get out to do it, but um, we only had a couple hours there. This is a photo I shot before I left. So <laughs> anyways, if you, uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we'll go back to e-biking again, but uh, I wanted to show you what my trip was. Anyways, if you like it, go ahead and give me a like on there. I'll talk to you guys next time.